Now, Indian restauranters across London are hoping new immigration rules after Brexit will help save their industry. Problems recruiting expert chefs from India has led to a slump in business, with around two restaurants now closing every week. But victory in the so-called Vindaloo Visas campaign could see chef skills prioritised in the new immigration system. Here's our Brexit reporter, Mark Ashdown. Lunch service at Shad Restaurant by London Bridge. The chefs here among thousands who keep this £10 billion industry cooking on gas. In certain places there are like 8, 9, 10, 15, 16 spices are blended together. And getting that balance right is, is, is the skill of cooking. And it takes, takes time and experience. Absolutely. And you can't just simply put someone to get it right. But things have been getting worse in recent years. Tough immigration rules for overseas workers, making it harder to recruit these highly skilled, but sometimes low paid chefs. The new system then could make things easier if so-called Vindaloo visas are introduced to recognize how vital they are to keep the industry afloat. Somebody is thrown in a lifeboat. This is a sinking industry. And thank God somebody's looked at this. Um, the industry has been lobbying for years and nothing really has much uh, been done about it. What you need in any country is good immigration. Not just immigration, but good immigration. These chefs that are going to come in, all the managers that we bring in, are going to come and contribute to the economy. I have a particular responsibility when it comes to taking back control. Last week, the Home Secretary promised to end free movement of EU workers after Brexit. Instead, all foreign workers will be treated the same. The government's proposing a skilled worker visa to attract the brightest and best talent. It could work like the Australian points-based system. 60 points, the magic number, with points awarded for how old someone is, their level of education, English skills and how much work experience they have. There's likely to be a salary cap under review, but thought to be between 30 and £36,000. But certain jobs paid below that could be exempt, like nurses, school teachers of some subjects, and now it seems specialist chefs. But there are lots of other sectors vital to London's economy which rely on low paid workers. Of course, the question then arises is what happens after Brexit when free movement ends? Are those sectors going to be able to recruit the lowest skilled labour that they need? And currently, the government is saying no, that their new system will prioritise the brightest and the best and won't allow a long-term permanent route for low skilled workers. And that is a concern for employers across sectors. On Sunday, it's the Asian Restaurant and Takeaway Awards, celebrating the best of the best. With on average two restaurants a week closing their doors, it's hoped the new system might revive fortunes. Mark Ashdown, BBC London. The daughter